empty graveyards adorned with the stench of leftover pizza can only mean the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universal Monsters. It's Leonardo as Igor the Hunchback. Observe the monster's grin as his attire becomes infested by creepy crawlings. His hunchback, which opens up for plenty of storage, such as this brain from the university, or these bones from the graveyard. And let's not forget Leo slaving katanas to keep Frank in his place. It's the all new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Universal Monsters Leonardo as Igor the Hunchback on everything you see here. And cheers to a new world of monsters and turtles. Franeka. <laughs> I mean, how awesome was that? That animation is done by DGDX Animations. He does incredible stop motion. You've been seeing his work probably quite a bit recently, especially with these uh, monster turtles and uh, gargoyles. But uh, welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. So we're going to be talking about the new NECA Toys' Universal Monsters X Ninja Turtles crossover. If you're not familiar with... Ninja Turtles or just Ninja Turtles in general, Playmates Toys used to do this type of thing where they would cross over Universal Monsters, Star Trek, things of that nature, and make really unique sculpts, designs, and everything else. So it looks like a NECA Toys with all their amazing Ninja Turtle offerings from movies to cartoons to video games will now be diving into Universal Monsters territories and the first figure was actually revealed way back uh, during October, so we got a good look at Raphael as Frankenstein. We'll go over all this in just a second. And now we know a little bit more about Igor and Leonardo as that character, and we'll explore and take some guesses as to what the other remaining figures could be. But before we get started, I just want to point out that I will have links, as always, down in the description below. You can pre-order both of these figures that we will be talking about today. Thanks for using my links. They will help the channel to grow. So to kick it off, like I said, back in October for the 31 days of NECA Halloween, they showed off Raphael. The packaging alone on this is... Absolutely amazing. So Raphael will be Frankenstein's monster. Again, just the artwork on the box alone. That's a selling point right there. It just really gives it that extra element of class. But Raphael, just the idea that they're they're taking the, the old-fashioned Playmates Toys model and really just going to town on the sculpts, the details, the face alone, all the different staples... The way the lips all kind of curl and wrap, they look like really cool illustrations brought to life. And that's why I feel like NECA is just the second renaissance of Ninja Turtles in general. They want to have fun with this. They are having fun with this. And that's really what I want to see. The most creative looking figures I have seen, we'll just say recently and then for 2022 hands down so far just in terms of the overall creativity i mean look at everything that he comes with extra hands he's got electric lightning bolt size which again that's just having fun mashing it all together and various diodes chains he's got the frankenstein suit he's got the bolts coming out of his neck he looks worn he looks dirty he looks grumpy and upset it's got the big clod hopper turtle feet to him again various pressure gauges and such all over him and it's every bit a ninja turtle figure as well and i particularly like how they have the new york city sewer manhole cover as part of his broken shell i think that that is very cool that's a nice little creative touch to it really brings it all together and again packaging ain't too shabby at all it's always nice to see a packaged finalized looking Item. So coupled with all that, he does have weapon storage, just as Raphael would have on his chain belt. Figure looks absolutely amazing, and if you are interested again in pre-ordering, I will have the links down in the description below. So being said, that's what we got going on with Raphael. Now we have the Hunchback, which that will be the Leonardo figure, and he will be the Igor figure, and <laughs> again... It's just the, the sculpted detail, everything about this figure, the face alone, he's got like a little goatee, he's got some really bushy eyebrows, his eyes, he has like a big boil on his eye, he's got 
a, a big old gash in the nose with staples all around his shell, the neck, and just the tattered rags look with the belt rope. It, it's awesome. I just love what they, they did with this. And you get a ton, a ton of accessories with this Leonardo from a skull and bones to various shovels and digging instruments. You've got his katanas. You've got fire that will strap onto the katanas. You have a brain in a jar, extra hands. So they really went to town. And from the promo photos, yeah. I mean, it's every bit Leonardo as a universal monster. You'll notice a little lock on the side of his shell. Now, in talking about Playmates toys, it, it's just... So, so cool that they're bringing back the storage shell turtles, right? So you can actually open this guy's shell, <laughs> which is amazing. He has full weapon storage. You can put the brain, the skull. You've got the katanas, which go through his shell, which is a nice little touch. It's that extra little element of weirdness, universal monsterness. It's just awesome that they did that. And you can put everything inside. So like an old-fashioned Storage shell turtle, yeah, you can definitely achieve all that. And just, again, the look of him, that coupled with being able to hold all the weapons, the brain, it's just a very fun line. This shows a lot of creativity. I'm having fun. I don't even have the figures yet, and I'm having fun. Just the idea of photos or just putting them on the shelves. That's another great thing. And the box art, just to reiterate, is utterly fantastic now to kind of go over the other figures in the line we haven't seen really just yet now NECA did release a poster for let's say this is being counted as like the more realistic slash movie turtles so they showed off the various figures they've done for that and they have the regular the first movie secret of the use the mutagen tour and now you have the universal monsters and the character selection goes thus far you have Raphael, of course as Frankenstein's monster you got Leonardo as the hunchback in silhouette we see Michelangelo as the mummy and then you have April O'Neil as the bride of Frankenstein now we haven't really gotten a good look at let's say April or Mikey however on one side of the Leonardo box uh, you can see Mikey as the mummy they haven't uh, blacked him out so you can kind of get a glimpse of him right there. And coupled with that, you will also see a silhouette for the Bride of Frankenstein, April O'Neil. And then you have two figures down at the bottom, which one of them, I would say, is most likely going to be Donatello. The other one, I would say, probably is Shredder. That's usually how, that's like the core sampling. Of course, you could have Splinter. But just for the sake of argument, I'm going to say probably one is Donatello, one is Shredder. Donatello, if I had to put my money on it, it's either going to be something totally wackadoo that we go, oh, wow, they, they went outside the box. It's not going to be just like these other ones where you have the core mummy, Frankenstein, things like that. They'll go outlandish, which, hey, I wouldn't mind. I would say, you know, maybe Donatello would be Dracula, although Playmates kind of already did that and they seemingly were looking to maybe do something different. Could be the Invisible Man, could be the Phantom of the Opera, take your pick. In either case, I hope it's just, it's crazy looking and it's just awesome. And you know, it will be if in case, uh, if in turn, it is Donatello. Could also be Casey Jones, right? Who knows? So my money would be on that. And then you have in the other, the last silhouette is a more, it looks like Van Helsing or at least those old hats from way back in the day. So maybe that'll be... I mean, it could go either way. It could be Donatello. It could be anything, really, to be honest with you. Could be Shredder. Could be Splinter. But in either case, one of the characters I really think will be a Van Helsing type character. So in either case, I'm totally on board with these. I really cannot wait. This is one of those lines. All the Ninja Turtle stuff that NECA does, I'm having the most fun with in the toy aisles right now. There's a lot of great stuff. But when NECA shows off the creativity and all the coolness that they're doing with the Turtles... It brings back the nostalgia, it brings back the fun of Ninja Turtles from when I was a kid, while adding a little bit more of a mature spin to these figures. They look fantastic. Hopefully we see these all throughout 2022. It looks like Raphael will be hitting, we'll say, in and around March, April, May, depending on how shipping is kind of going. Hunchback Leo looks to be around May, so... Expect one maybe every two months, every other month. Again, just depending on how shipping goes. 
and they look to be largely available everywhere when they do start hitting, but you can grab them online now if you like. Again, links in the description below. But as always, I am curious to know what you guys think about these upcoming NECA Toys' Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles X Universal Monsters crossover figures. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Universal Monsters, NECA Toys' TMNT figures. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, yes, be sure to lay your bets down in the comments below. Tell me who are the other two figures in silhouettes and what monsters will they be conveying. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.